Hi you one. Thanks for all the work you've sent in this week. This is our last day learning about the snail and the whale and for today's English challenge I want you to be the teacher. This morning I wrote some sentences about the snail and the whale but I was in a bit of a rush and I think I made some mistakes so I need you to check my sentences for me and tell me how I can improve them. So, when we're improving our sentences, we're going to need to think about all the non-negotiables that we need to remember when, we, when we're writing sentences in year one. We have done some work on this already this week. I wonder how many of those non-negotiables you can remember. Pause the video and tell your grown-up now. Let's see how you did. Well, first of all, we always need to remember our full stop. We need to remember a capital letter at the beginning of a sentence and for names. We need to try and use our sounding out. And it's a really good idea for you to try and do a bit of that on your own. Um, really say the, say the word and sound it out and see what sounds you can remember to use. We need finger spaces between each word. And we need to write on the line. And it's lovely when you can use your cursive letter formation we're learning in school, where each letter starts on the line. I've added in an extra one to remember too, which is tricky words or common exception words. And there's a list of words that we really would love you to be able to read and write by the end of year one. So if you can spell some of those correctly in your writing, that's a really good thing. Now I've got a sentence here where I've tried really hard and I think I've remembered all the things I need. Can you have a go at reading that sentence to your grown-up? Pause the video and have a go now. Let's have a little look. Let's read it together. The snail sat on the rock. So this is a good sentence. I've remembered, so we've got our full stop, got my full stop at the end, capital letter, good sounding out in snail, the A sound, the rock, word rock, I've sounded that out nicely, finger spaces between all the words, and look, the letters start on the line each time. So the cursive letters are correct. I've also spelt the tricky word the correctly. So that's a really good sentence. Now, some of my sentences I've written are not going to be that good. So there are going to be things you're going to, need, going to need to spot that are incorrect. One of the things is capital letters. And sometimes you may not know what a capital letter looks like. So if you use your diary that you take home to record all your reading in, it has got some really useful pages that will help you. One of the pages looks like this and it shows you how to form all your capital letters and that's something we practice all, of, all through year one. And it also shows you all the cursive letters. Each one starts on the line. So that might help you if you're correcting my work and making it better. We've also got all the phonic sounds in your diary so that's really useful as well in case I've made any mistakes with the phonics. And these are our year one tricky words or common exception words. And they're the words we're going to try and spell by the end of the year, hopefully. We're going to work really hard on that. So these were my sentences I wrote. I'm going to read them through to you now. And then I'm going to have a go at improving one of them. So my first sentence says, the snail got on the whale. They went all around the world. There were boats that scared the whale. She got stuck on the beach. The children came and saved her. They went back to the dock. One of those sentences doesn't actually need improving. I wonder if you if you spotted the one that has got no mistakes at all. Pause the video and if you can see that one, tell your grown up. 
So there is one sentence that didn't need improving and it's this one here. There were boats that scared the whale. Luckily I got that one right. So that's going to give you a bit of a tip when you come to do your work later. Now I'm going to show you how to improve a sentence. Let's have a look at one of the sentences I wrote earlier and see what we think is good about the sentence and what needs improving. Now you know in school we use a green pen to show all the good things about a sentence, the things you've done really well. And we use pink to show things we can improve a bit. So you'll need two colour pens or pe pencils for this job. You can have green and pink if you like, or you can choose some different colours. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to read my sentence. The snail got on the whale. What do you think I've done well in my sentence? What's, what's good about my sentence? Can you tell your grown-up what you think I did well? Pause the video here. Okay, well looking at it, I think there's quite a few things I did well. I spelt the word the right. I had good sounding out in snail. Got my A diagraph there, so that's really good. Um, I've spelt the word whale. Good, I've used my split diagraph here, haven't I? So I've had really good sounding out, whale, whale. So there's quite a lot of good things. I've also started each letter on the line, so I've got really good cursive handwriting. Now, are there things I can improve in my sentence? Think about the non-negotiables. What could I do better in my sentence? Can you tell your grown-up now? Well, straight away at the beginning, I can see I have not used a capital letter, so I could improve that. I could write my capital T above there, because that's what a capital letter looks like. Then as I go through, I use a capital letter at the beginning of a sentence, but do I use a capital in the middle of a sentence for just a normal word like this? No. So that one's not right either, because that is a capital, but it should be a lowercase cursive letter. The snail got on the whale. Did you spot a problem here? That's right, I forgot my finger space, so I can draw a line like that to show I should have remembered my finger space there. And then I look across my sentence. Have I got something missing at the end of my sentence? That's right. I should have remembered a full stop at the end. I need to remember that. And remember the full stop goes at the end of the sentence, not just at the end of the line. So the sentence has got to make complete sense. The snail got on the whale, and it does. Now, now I've done that first challenge, some of you might want to have a go at the next challenge, which is to rewrite that sentence in best. So I'm going to get, get a piece of paper here, and I'm going to have a go at writing that sentence up in best. So I have to remember all the pink things that I spotted that I've made mistakes on, I need to copy out correctly. So if I bring that down here. So straight away, this time, I'm going to remember my capital letter. And do you remember capital letters go all the way up to the top of the line? And you don't start them on the line like cursive letters, you start at the top. So that's my capital T. The. Remember my finger space? Snail. And can we see the pink here? We need to remember to change that capital G to a lowercase. And all our lowercase letters, you put your pen on the line, go around background and the G goes down below the line. The snail got on the whale. I need to remember those finger spaces. 
on. Now this time I will have my pink space. There. Well, starting my letters on the line, my cursive letters. And remembering my full stop at the end. So I've improved my sentence. So for your work today, I would like you to have a read through on the sentences that I wrote. You'll find them on the school website and spot any mistakes I've made and mark my work. You could use your two colour pens or pencils to spot all the good things I've done, all the things I need to improve. And you can correct my work so you can add in capital letters or full stops where they're needed. Remember, some of the tricky words are spelt incorrectly too. So don't forget to use your diary and find out how to spell them correctly and correct them on the sheet. Then for an extra challenge, could you rewrite some of the sentences correctly? Can you show me how to, do a, how to write a really good sentence and do a better job than me? Um, so you could choose to maybe write one or two of the sentences again. If you want a real challenge, you could write all of them again. And don't forget, we love to see your work. So don't forget to send in your pictures. Have a lovely day, year one.